Oh yeah. Much why wow. you know what that tastes like? That tastes like I took a chocolate. What is up, everybody, and welcome to this week's taste test challenge. This week, I'm doing the second flavor of this flavored coffee from Fire Department Coffee. They're in Rockford, Illinois. This one happens to be marshmallow brownie flavored coffee. Now, like I said in the first one, I'll put a link down to the first one I did um, from these guys. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description um, so you can go check out that video after you watch this one if you want. <clears throat> but anyway, this is a company from Rockford, Illinois. They make flavored coffee. Um, they've only been around by for like a couple years or so, best I can tell. Um, this one here is marshmallow brownie flavored coffee. Now it comes in these little bags. They're resealable. The only thing I don't like about these bags is that the opening, when you open this up, to get a spoon or something in there to get the grounds out is very, very small. Very, very small. So it's kind of hard to get the grounds out of the bag. But the bag is resealable. It's very nice, very well packed. And uh, <clears throat> I got them really, really quick when I did order them. I ordered two just to see. Now, I'm not a really big fan of flavored coffees. Never have been. Even the, like the creamers and that, I've never really um, put flavored creamers in my coffee I just do it straight cream and sugar now I'm gonna do this the same way I did the other one. I'm gonna start it out black and then I'll add my cream and sugar um, after that because like the last time when I added the cream and sugar it really brought out the taste of the flavor I mean a lot so I'm gonna try it the same way this way and uh, we'll see how it goes this is marshmallow brownie flavored coffee from fire department coffee now it does smell like brownies. When it's brewing, it's it smells like you're cooking a pan of brownies. Yeah, it smells it smells really good. It does smell really good. It smells like a it smells like a chocolate brownie. It really does smell like a chocolate brownie. <clears throat> Alright, well let's see what this tastes like. Black, straight out of the box or bag. Okay. It's got a it does have a good brownie flavor. Really good brownie flavor with with the black coffee. Real hard real hard flavored black coffee and a very good brownie. Yeah, very good brownie flavor. <clears throat> now, the hard black coffee is not my particular taste. I'm also not tasting any marshmallow. Now that I think of it, I'm not tasting any marshmallow in there. No, I just I just got the taste of the brownie and the coffee. The brown yeah, I mean those now I don't like black coffee like I was starting to say. I don't like black coffee, so I think once I put my cream and sugar in here, I think it's gonna be a little bit better. <clears throat> but it's got the good Good solid black coffee flavor and then a good chocolate brownie flavor. But like I said, I'm not tasting no marshmallow in there. I'm not tasting no marshmallow at all. All right, let me doctor this up my way. I brought the stuff with me this time to uh, doctor it up. I'm going to do a little bit of cream here, which is the way that I take it. And then I also do a little bit of sugar, which I got on this side. My little old antique container here that I've had for probably 25 years. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Let's see, let's mix this up here. All right. Uh, see, now that's the way that I drink my coffee with cream and sugar. So let's see if this makes a difference like it did on the last one. Okay, ironically, the brownie smell is gone. I'm not smelling the brownie. Anymore. Well, maybe just a little, not as strong as it was um, when it was black. <clears throat> but okay, here's to this one, cream and sugar. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Much. Well, you know what that tastes like? That tastes like I took a chocolate brownie and dipped it in my coffee and then ate the brownie. That's exactly what that tastes Wow, that's good. That's exactly what that tastes like. Yeah, that tastes like I just took a chocolate brownie and dipped it in my coffee and took a, took a bite of the brownie. That's actually not too bad. That's actually not too bad. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of flavored coffees, never have been, but this actually is pretty good. I'm still not getting no marshmallow taste. None whatsoever. I'm not getting no marshmallow whatsoever. I'm just getting the coffee and the brownie. Good dark chocolate brownie is what it tastes like. Dipped in coffee. Actually, it's actually, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, that's not that bad. <clears throat> this is probably one that I would have again. I probably would have that again. Wow, that's not that bad. All right, let's see. Give it a score. This is tough because black out of the bag, it wasn't all that great. Once I added my cream and sugar and everything, it brought the flavor out just like it did in the last one. So, you know, with that being said, because this is a lot better than I thought it was going to be, it really, really is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. And that, that brownie flavor is, is really good. I love brownies. The brownie flavor is real good. It's like, like I said, it's like I took a brownie, dipped it in my coffee, and then took a bite of a brownie. All right, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to score this at like an 8.3. I'm going to give this an 8.3. It's, it's a lot better than I expected, a lot better than I expected. And I really like the brownie flavoring in there. Although it doesn't have the marshmallow like it says. I'm not tasting no marshmallow, but it does have a good, strong brownie flavor in there. And uh, I think that's what I'm scoring it on on that. If I had to take away from the marshmallow, I'd probably take away maybe half a point if you want to look at it that way because there is no marshmallow in there. But, yeah, that's I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to stick with that. That was actually good. <clears throat> that was actually good. A lot better than I thought. All right, guys, Fire Department Coffee. You can look them up online at Fire Department, Fire D E P T Coffee.com. They have several different flavors. This was just like a little uh, sample pack that I got. It had these two flavors in it, um, but they have a bunch of other flavors if you like flavored coffee. I got them really quick. I ordered them. I think I got them like three or four days later. I mean, right away. They shipped them out right away, and they were fresh. They're fresh. Um, you know, not. You know, you, you know you can tell when you open a bag, you get that coffee smell. When I open these, it just came out of the bag like crazy. So they are freshly ground um, before they ship them, I'm assuming, um, best I can tell. And then, like I said, the bag is resealable. Not bad. Not bad at all. So if you like flavored coffee, check these guys out. Fire Department Coffee. Fire, FireDeptCoffee.com out of Rockford, Illinois. All right, guys, well, that was this week's taste test challenge. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Leave me a comment down below if you like flavored coffee or not. It'd be interesting to see how many people actually like flavored coffee. Um, you know, this isn't the flavored cream. This is the flavored coffee. The actual grounds are flavored. So if you like black coffee, you can get the taste of um, the flavoring without having to put any additives into it. If, you, if you're a black coffee drinker and like flavored coffee. I guess it would be. Anyway, guys, that's it for this week's Taste Test Challenge. Come back next Tuesday for another one, and I'll see you guys then. Thanks, guys.